Hey, Miles Beckler here, milesbeckler.com. In this video, I'm gonna discuss why I've left ClickFunnels, and I'm also going to explain where I moved my membership system to now that I've left ClickFunnels. So about a year, year and a half ago, I joined ClickFunnels in order to move and migrate and kind of grow my membership system. Love the funnel aspect, love the ability to test funnels quickly and to get my landing pages, my sales pages up relatively quickly. But the challenge came in the actual membership site delivery. Uh, first and foremost, the, their members area doesn't allow you much, if any, customization at all. Um, there's no deep linking URLs to the different uh, modules, to the different lessons. And overall, it was just a poor user experience. Um, the search function, for example, crashed it. I reached out to their support. Uh, we'll work on it at some point. Never got done. Another problem that arised was some of my paying customers were getting locked out of their membership system. Uh, ClickFunnels, for some reason, with an active membership subscription, would simply cancel their access in ClickFunnels, even though they were still on monthly subscription. I actually sat down, I physically took my laptop and went to their support at the uh, ClickFunnels seminar that I went to, and I sat down to show them because they weren't responding via email. They were saying, oh, that's on your end. Oh, that's not our problem. The general pass the buck kind of support that really aggravates me as a customer. Finally, I sat down with them. They did a temporary fix. It was never fully resolved. And the final straw that broke the camel's back was when I found out that I have dozens, possibly hundreds of people who had access to my membership content who weren't on an active Stripe subscription. Their subscription either canceled, they canceled it, or a payment failed. And for some reason, ClickFunnels did not pick this up and continued to give them access, some people for over a year. I've already found about about seven or eight people who had access for over a year. It's $444 per year per person. So I've already found thousands of dollars that have been um, kind of dropped by ClickFunnels. And from my kind of research, it looks like there's dozens, if not hundreds of more people in that same sort of situation. So I decided that was it. Once it hit my pocketbook and it was financially affecting me, it was worth it to move and moving websites is and content management systems is always really challenging. It's generally speaking a last resort to move everything over and at that point it became a last resort. So where did I move to? Uh, I moved to a WordPress based system. I realized that in dealing with their support and in dealing with their lack of support actually and the pass the buck mentality they had, I needed to be in a situation where I could hire developers and I could essentially be in control. I need to be the captain of my ship. I don't want to be a passenger on someone else's ship that's going in a destination that might not be where I want it to go. So that's why I went to a WordPress based system. The theme I'm using is Thrive Themes, and Thrive Themes is fantastic for building the funnels on the front end, but you also have what's called their Apprentice System. If you've never seen it, I'll actually I'll put a link below in the video, um, or you could Google Thrive Apprentice System, and what it does is it allows you to create a module and lesson-based layout. So now I have different modules and different lessons for all of the products that get opened up for my customers um, when they become members. I've got a search function now. I can deep link people directly to the lessons that I want them to go to. Plus I'm working on adding some really cool functionality like a forum that's gonna be inside of there um, and just really playing with the look and making it a great user experience. You know, at $37 a month, um, even though that's only what, $1.25, $1.30 per day, I still take that very seriously when our customers are paying that and I wanna make sure that they're getting the best possible experience that they can. And that's why we've literally spent over two and a half months and there were 10 different people who worked on it, hired migration specialists, my team I have, my wife and I, uh, literally hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars have gone into this migration. So it was a well thought out idea. And on my shopping cart, I'm using Thrivecart, which is a very simple shopping cart that allows me to run my funnel, which is an opt-in to a dollar trial to a membership to an annual upsell. I have a video on that uh, funnel that's working very well for us right now. And for the actual access, I'm using Active Campaign and Active Member 360. Active Campaign is an email management system that has a tagging based system. It's similar to Confusionsoft, but it's very, very simple to use and it's very user friendly. And their plugin Active Member 360 uses the tags that are inside of Active Campaign to decide whether a specific user has access to certain content. 
So a new user will get access to week one. After they're through their week trial, they get access to month one, whereas a user who's six months in, after they make their next payment, they get access to month number seven. And all of that drip content is done very intelligently through Active Campaign and Active Member 360. So this move was actually an email service provider move for me. It was a platform move, a content management system. It was a theme move. It was intense to make this move. And I'm so happy and I'm so thankful that I've made the move. If you're building a membership system, I highly, highly recommend you consider creating an option that is not based on ClickFunnels. Um, they have let me down in a major way and it has cost me literally thousands of dollars and months of my time in backpedaling. Plus, I had people who were getting access to my stuff for free and as a membership kind of site owner, that's, that's the part, you know, ClickFunnels doesn't accidentally give their software to people for free. So I don't know why it didn't work for me, but it sure didn't. So, and their support wasn't really there to help me with it. So when is ClickFunnels a good idea, right? Like, I don't want this to be all trash talking about ClickFunnels. Um, ClickFunnels is essentially a step above lead pages. If you are kind of trying to get your opt-in page going, if you're trying to sell an ebook, if you have a simple course that has three modules and four lessons in each module, it's gonna work perfect. One-time products, it works really well for that kind of stuff. It was the annual and the monthly and the rebilling system that was required for the monthly membership that really made it not very well feasible. All in all, I think Thrive Themes is a better option because you have full control. Uh, it does require some WordPress skills and possibly bringing on a WordPress developer. Luckily, you can find WordPress developers in the Philippines, in India, in Eastern Europe for five to $10 per hour. And they're really good at what they do. Um, Upwork.com is a great place to find them. So if you were curious why I left ClickFunnels, if you were curious what my new marketing stack looks like, there you have it. I'm happy to answer any of your questions in here. At this point, the membership system is working brilliantly. Um, I'm really excited about the future. I'm now on a platform that I can continue to add functionality and that's really important to me and it's really important to my users, I feel, to, to have that kind of best possible customer and user experience they can. On ClickFunnels, that just simply wasn't there, but on Thrive Themes and WordPress, I'm in control and that's where I feel like I need to be. This is a long-term business I'm building and I take it very, very seriously and that's why after literally months of, of wondering, eh, am I gonna move, is it worth it? God, it's gonna be a lot of work. I did commit to the process, and boy, on the other end, I'm thankful I did. So if you're just starting a membership system, consider going straight to Thrive Themes and a WordPress plugin to manage that access. I love Active Campaign and Active Member 360. It's working really, really well. And that's all for this video. So I hope to have more positive, exciting stuff about what I'm doing in my funnels. I just launched another new funnel myself over the weekend. Why not launch another funnel after you just finish your membership system? Maybe I'm a crazy workaholic. Maybe I'm just excited to get this stuff out and I'll update you on that as it comes. Thanks again for watching. Give me a thumbs up here in YouTube if you like the video. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. If you'd like to share what your marketing stack is, I'd love to know what you're working with and how you've built your systems, your funnels, and your membership program. And finally, go ahead and subscribe so you can get those videos when they come out. Thanks again for your time. Have a great day. See you on the next video.